Welcome back to Tales of Vesperia. Last time we finished up in Cave Mock finding a bunch of items and we got a little chat about the Fell Arms. And now we are going to go and try to find a Giganto monster, which is just east over here in this clearing. Uh, yeah, this is just east of Yumanju. Uh, over here, you can see it on the map. Uh, it may take a little while for him to show up, just move around. He is out here in the open, so he will randomly pop up as a enemy. Uh, well, hello! I think you'll be able to tell which one is him. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, this is Griffin. That's a real original name for a giant monster. Um, yeah. So he can be a pretty tough guy, because he's actually kind of fast and powerful. Ooh, that was a good block. In your face! Oh man, Stell's going all up with these skills. Oh, I didn't even look at what was powerful against it. Ah, uh, yes. Ow. Bad. Bad giant griffin thing. Ow, no, no, bad, evil. No! Hit me again so it'll let me Let's do that thing. Let's finish this. Okay, come on. Brilliant blade of coldest steel. Rim the infinite darkness and crush my enemies to nothing. Whoa, there was actually elemental hits in there. I saw the green and a red light. Red light, green light. Bam! Ow, fire. That wasn't nice. Oh, I actually went into the healing circle. Cool. Oh, I actually got weak on me right now. That's not very good. Uh, weak bottle, please. Yes, thank you. Okay, let's keep going. Ow, ow. Cover me, would you? Okay. This is my first real battle with all those boosts I gave myself last episode. <laughs> oh man. So this guy's probably the tougher of the. Giganto monsters we've fought lately. Just because, well, in all reality, Fenrir was pretty easy. Uh, Chimera Butterfly was pretty easy. This guy's actually pretty easy right now. It seems. I don't know, maybe I'm a little over level for this point, but I'm not sure. I know I'm above his level right now. Which is kind of odd considering he's a Giganto monster, but whatever. No, I actually hyped this up to be a little bit tougher than it actually is. But, oh, hello! That wasn't nice. Oh. I keep talking about this and also he's kicking my ass. I was blocking. No, I died! I shouldn't have said anything at all. <laughs> he's still in over limit. Oh, there we go. He's out now. It appears that fire attack, he that fire breathing attack actually induces weakness. Weak is kind of annoying because I think it cuts your max HP in half or something like that. Like it cuts all your damage in like four and a half or something, like all your hit points in half or something. Am I out of, mo out of regular items? That'd be bad if I was. Oh, no, I still have lemon gels. I'm out of TP healing items. I saw somebody using a melange gel to heal my TP, so... Concentrate. Wow. <laughs> Holy... Oh my god! That is so annoying! Wow! He's an over limit. He was spamming regular attacks like I would normally. <laughs> Live, Estelle, live! Oh boy. Uh, use it immediately, please. I don't want to have her dead. Thank you! Oh crap. No, not again! And then an over limit, that's not cool. Oh, hello! The sign of victory. Wow, Judith is almost dead. Oh, big game hunter! 
You slew all giganto monsters. Now nothing can stand before you. Careful, though. It's a big world. So yes, every giganto monster is dead. And I hit B, making me skip everything that just happened afterwards. Okay, get in the ship, and we're going to go see the King of Adventure. Get some nice chats. Enjoying victory! With that, we've beaten all the world's giganto monsters! I was a little spooked at first, but we did it! We probably couldn't have done it if they gathered together like normal monsters. Maybe they were just really territorial. That could have helped us beat them. And we got a lot of valuable materials, too, since they were a lot stronger than normal monsters. Yeah! It was a lot of hard work, but it was worth it! And defeating all of the giganto monsters will help brave Vesperia's reputation as well. How? It's a few monsters in parts of the world people have only heard stories about. Yeah, these guys aren't the kind you run across unless you set out to. Well, what's wrong with just being happy about it? You don't seem too happy, Yuri. Hmm? Yeah, I mean, I feel a sense of accomplishment, but also kind of empty. Me too. Every time I beat a really tough enemy, I feel a little lonely inside. I'm pretty sure that's just the two of you. <laughs> these fighting addicts, I swear. <laughs> uh, it just means it's one less thing to kill. <laughs> one less strong thing to kill. Um, where am I going now? Alright, uh, it's just nearby Holdor. Uh, over here. There it is. Land! <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm still. I'm gonna go hit it in after this. Because I've still got many status in the fictions and I'm almost dead. You defeated all of the gig giganto monsters. Yeah, we ended up beating them all ourselves. Thank you. Thanks to your wonderful people, we can finally get back to our hometown. That's true, but let's keep traveling for a while. Huh? Why? We can finally go home. You can see your father. I'm sure he'll acknowledge you ma our marriage now. Huh? Did you just say marriage? Yes. But wait, aren't you two brother and sister? My father and Rich's father were both members of a of the regime expeditionary force together. Because of that, the two of us have been friends since we were kids, and we've been close uh, as close as siblings. But you're not actually siblings? Rich's father is uh, the only surviving member of the expeditionary force. For that reason, he said he would never acknowledge our marriage until we defeated all the giganto monsters. And I was planning on doing that too, to fulfill his highness's long wish. But defeating a giganto monster by yourself? That's insane! Yes, it's insane. Suicidal, probably. That wasn't enough to make me stop. So you just got in the habit of wandering around? You should have told us all this sooner. You, you should have asked us for help. We could have gotten it uh, taken care of faster. I'm sorry. Come on, let's go back. Let's go back to your father. Why not just keep things the way they are? We don't need to be tied down by all the formalities of marriage. We could just wander around forever. That wouldn't be so bad, would it? Forever together? Big brother. What the... You mean we beat all those Zarkandal monsters for nothing? No, that's not true. You brought us, you brought honor back to the fa to my father and uh, to his highness region as well. His highness's biggest hope was that the people could live in peace without having to worry about attack by monsters. That's why we traveled around the world. If you ever meet my father in your travels, please tell him that all the Gigantomonsters monsters have been defeated. My father should still live in uh, in Capua Torim. Sure, I can try to remember. Really? Thank you. If you're going to thank ever anyone, you should thank our monster hunting all-star right here. You mean me? Such a large weapon for such a small person. Fantastic. Uh, and still just a boy. Truly fantastic. You've got potential. <laughs> thank you. It's just like a valiant, unfinished sword. That reminds me. I've got something for you. Please come with me to the carriage. Huh? We got this uh, from Sicily, a guest who stayed with us at the end. He said this is for when I have kids, but I'm not even married yet. Do you really want us to have this? Yes, yeah, this is probably too big for your kids, even when I'm, I do have them one day. We must be some special guests to receive this. It's cute! It suits you, and he has the mustache still. <laughs> yeah, very kitty. Uh, if you happen to see our carriage again, please stop in and say hi. We'll always have room to for you to stay the night. Thank you. No, thank you. Carol earned the Valiant Swordsman title. Yeah, so uh, let's see here. Carol. Oh, God. I'm not keeping that on him. 
Oh my god, no. <laughs> what else do I have here? Oh, uh, it's just the regular stuff. The lunch lady with the mustache. Girly with the mustache. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, I think I'll just put him back on Bravest Barrier Leader. And leave his mustache on him. Oh yeah, that looks bad on her. Uh, too good. What do I have here? Kitty Cat Waitress. That's all for her? Really? Genius Mage. Super Dragon Rider! Okay, well, I'm gonna stay at the inn here. Whoa, oh yeah, talking to him and getting your items now. Defeated a Chimera Butterfly, must thank you. Please take this. Yep. Anyways, next time we are going to just head on out and uh, go find his father, actually. So we got our two items for fighting those two guys. Okay, see you guys then. I'm gonna stay at the inn.